for a lot of years, folks in the military uh, and individuals that are just civilians have been using a, a multi-purpose piece of gear. The poncho has been around a long time. Uh, I know I've seen some accounts of it being back in the Civil War for a waterproof poncho. A lot heavier back then, they're a lot lighter now. Um, this one here happens to be strapped on the bottom of a mother canteen pouch from Centerline Systems. Uh, Mark Lane's a great guy that uh, is building these and I can put a link up to where you, if you want to check them out. Also, you know, you got that titanium um, mess kit from Chris from uh, Heavy Cover. The, ta the poncho itself comes from Bushcraft Outfitters, right? This is the OD Green, it's a regular size. Uh, like all of their products, they don't have grommets in them, they have tabs sewn into them. The idea with the tabs is if they rip, uh, tear, you can actually fix them with a, a needle and thread instead of trying to mess around with the grommet. So they work pretty good. This one's just a urethane coated uh, nylon, regular size. We'll actually burn a hole in this one and use some of that uh, repair tape. Seems to be holding up pretty good. Uh, we'll see how it holds up for the rest of the summer. But what I want to do today is talk about how to make a shelter with one of these ponchos. Um, I've also got a high vis line kit. And this is also from Bushcraft Outfitters. Um, it has you see how all this stuff fits so nice in here. It has a 26 foot ridge line. And I'll show you how this goes up here pretty quick. I also have some titanium stakes in here from the same place. And then it has stake lines, six stake lines which are four foot, and six tie outs that are seven foot. And I tie overhand uh, loops in all of them and you'll see why when I start putting this up. So everything is carried into this uh, pouch with your water with room for a first aid boo-boo kit and some other stuff in it too. But we'll talk about that. But right now I just want to uh, discuss on how to put this up. This is going to be a really super simple setup. It's not the only way to set it up but this is the way I've spent a lot of nights in one of these ponchos. To start with I want to have a nice place to put my shelter up. Some trees in between trees works good. You can pound stuff into the ground. You can do different stuff like that too but trees seem to work pretty well. With the 26 foot ridge line you got a lot of room to work with it. I like having this eye on it. Basically pass it through. I want to keep this right at thigh height ish. Put my whole roll through there and I'm going to go across to my other tree. From here I like having one side just a little bit lower. Um, actually, I'll do the other side a little bit lower. That way I'll be able to get a better angle with the camera. So once again, mid-high, mid-thigh. I'm going to leave a little bit of slack in it. And just take the excess and just wrap it around for right now. The next thing I want to do with any type of sh shelter made with a poncho is I want to take my tie off, my hood tie off. I want to pull it down tight take that hood, take that tie off, and this one happens to be elastic, and wrap it around. And this is going to water seal this thing up so you won't get a leak on you. And also if you want to put a different type of line above you to help pull it up, that gives you a tie off point too. Alright, so tie off so your I've hood. got these little s beaners, right? These just happen to be black ones, they just have little clips on both sides of them. What I like to do is take and clip it on the line, wrap it around it once. What that's going to do is put some tension on it. When I tighten it, it's going to stop it from moving. But if I want to right now, I can move it back and forth. That lets me adjust my poncho or my tarp, and then when I pull the ridge line tight, it stops it from moving. Here's my middle tab. I want to take that S beaner and clip that in there. And you can see just how that looks. Piece of cake. I want to do that on the opposite now side Now that I've also. got the whole thing, my poncho is attached to my ridge line. Now I can tighten this up. The big thing that I've learned over the years is one of the hardest things people have with shelters and bushcraft and survival in general is tying knots. The more you can practice, the better off you are. But if you have enough line in a situation like this, I can just pull it tight, wrap it around, 
and around and around and then with my slack a little knot there all you have to do is just tie a knot around the line itself the friction is going to keep this from moving and it'll still let you untie this very easily so it doesn't matter if it's a little goober knot or whatever so it works pretty well from here now I want to put my tie out lines or I can use stake lines also and there's a way I want to show you with these loops. All right, I'm down here at my corner tab and I have my fixed loops in the end of these. Okay, there's a few different things I can do. If I need a lot of extension, I can take my loop, I can run it through there. And I can get the full six or seven foot on the end of there. Now these are pre-tied, mind you. If I only need three foot, which is probably what I'll do with this. I just run it through on the tab and then put my stake the two holes here. If I want it even shorter than that, I can take it and double it up. Run it through the tab and have a shorter line. So this gives you the versatility of going from six foot to three foot to about a foot and a half. So it works pretty well. And from here, I just want to stake these out at 45 degrees. And I'll show you how that okay, works. I've got a couple of stakes. I have my tie out lines. I have my high vis line kit hooked onto there. I want to take one of those stakes. These are the shepherd hook titanium vargos. I'm going to come out at a 45 degree angle. Or I'll place my stake in the ground. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing. This one I'm probably going to make a little bit shorter. I'll shorten it down because it's closer to the ground. So once again, I double it up. I run it through. And I've shortened my line up. I want to come down at a 45 degree angle and place my stake in the ground. Now I'm going to do that to the other side as well with these two lines. And so you can stakes. see, this is a very low slung shelter, right? I have a little bit of pitch going to it. I have pitch all the way around it. I want the water to not run in here because this is where my head's going to be at. I want the water to run off the side. I want it to run this way. Now, this isn't going to be your perfect shelter, right? This isn't going to uh, get you dry through a bad thunderstorm, but it will keep a lot of water off you. You can also use these lines. Let's say I want to put these together. These are my two seven-footers here. All I have to do is run the loops together. So without any knots, except the pre-tied ones, be able to put them together and I've gone from 7 foot to 14 foot pretty quickly. If I want to tie this hood up, it's going to go around itself. Get my loop on there. I can go up here. Get a little bit more height. Now you can see, I can crawl right underneath here. If I have an emergency bivy, that'll work real good with this. If uh, I just need to get out of the weather, it's gonna work pretty well. Perfect, no, all right? These do come in different sizes, like I said. Uh, there's one that's uh, two foot longer than this one. This is a standard size. So there's lots of different options out there. So I'll put the link up to where you can get this and the mother canteen carrier also.